Hello friends and welcome on back to the Lake Life Family Channel. Today we're going to be talking about our flock and chicken pox because our chickens have chicken pox. Yes, that is possible. And today's video is sponsored by our friends at HelloFresh. All right, guys, you know the deal. If you've been watching our channel for a little bit now, you know that we are fans of HelloFresh, and HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit on the market. So you know every time that you get a delivery from HelloFresh, you're getting something delicious. I've made and we've enjoyed a lot of different recipes from HelloFresh over the past couple years. And honestly, the weeks that we get HelloFresh, I simply enjoy not having to go to the grocery store because you can actually save up to 28% of your time by using HelloFresh versus going to the grocery store. So HelloFresh lightens up your schedule by you not having to go to the grocery store and their delivery straight to your door. The also great thing about their deliveries is that everything is pre-portioned, that means there's less prep, but there's also less wasted food. So everything is almost entirely made from recyclable or already recycled content, so all you have to do is use the pre-portioned ingredients and toss what you don't use into the recycle bin. Now if you have a hungry guy like I do, Justin is always complaining that I'm not making enough for dinner. So HelloFresh adds the option of extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order. You can also throw in extra proteins or add in yummy meal compliments like HelloFresh's best-selling garlic bread. After just celebrating Thanksgiving, we have the mindset of giving back and HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever before, guys, and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe. HelloFresh has also donated to charity in 2019 and is stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis this year. So if you guys still haven't tried HelloFresh after all these times of showing you guys how much we love and appreciate HelloFresh's recipes, go out to HelloFresh.com and use our code LAKELIFEFAMILY80 to get a total of $80 off five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Again, that's HelloFresh.com using our code LAKELIFEFAMILY80 to get $80 across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Go out and take advantage of this promo code, you guys. You will not regret it. The recipes are so good and the delivery is just super simple. Thanks HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and providing us some tasty treats in the fridge that OSG is cooking up. So we're gonna be talking about the flock today. Uh, it's been a minute. If you've watched our last video, you saw we've had some things going on. We mentioned this, but we're gonna do a deep dive into the flock, check in with them. This is, all, this is three quarters of a year with our flock that we have now. So. Uh, we're going through our first uh, big flock disease and some other issues that have come up and how we have uh, treated them. We are still getting eggs, but our egg production has slowed way down. In order to combat some of the things that happen in the winter and fall months and potential diseases that come up, um, there's a couple of things that we do. Uh, first of all, let's, let's head on down to the Rackley Roost and at least feed them some delicious treats. Mm. Compliments to Emery and OSG for not eating their uh, bread ends and <laughs> having some delicious tasty leftovers. And There's, Emmy always you know, leaving. A quarter of an apple. <laughs> so anyway, let's head on into the, the coop and show you what's going on. As you can tell, it is fully fall winter now. The, most of the leaves have fallen. And so the temperatures have started to drop. We have uh, less shade. So it kind of works out that our chickens get a little more sun this time of year. What you don't want in your flock right now is to think for things to be really wet. Uh, wet and cold is just a recipe for getting uh, diseases and viruses, or if they already have them, to bring them back up. Just like us, you know, if they don't don't get their proper vitamins and, and sunlight, and uh, things are cold and wet, and they're huddled together. You know, things things tend to spread. So we're gonna give them some delicious spinach. Uh, Steph always gets spinach at the grocery store. Uh, if we can, we get it in a, in bulk for a couple bucks, just the big raw unwashed bundles. So uh, that has a lot of vitamins and minerals. OSG, you want to help me out with uh, <laughs> which those yeah, which ones those are because you're smart. Spinach has a lot of vitamin K in it. Good for, uh, for us, it's good for our blood. It also, <laughs> it also has a lot of calcium and stuff like that. Um, so it's great calcium. for, yeah, spinach yeah. has calcium in well, it. Well, that's also great for egg production. Uh, we give our 
chicken's free choice of uh, calcium. That's also important right now. I'll go into that in just a second with a couple of these chickens, but leftover fruits, just vitamins and mineral stuff, vitamin C. All that good stuff. Good stuff to help fight off stuff. You know, girls and one little boy, why don't you Coming in do home. your thing? This is something I like to do when I'm at home at least once a day, is I, I let them out and let them get some some free ranging, you know, get some space in between them. They have a large space in here where they're protected, but uh, the only thing is, they get all up in my flower bed over there. I wish you didn't like that. I don't. But I get I get a little testy. It gives them a chance to get some of the you know the protein, the Cause, bugs. Because they do the this. Yard. Right now, with all these leaves, they'll find copperheads. They'll get all sorts of grubs and. Um, yeah, they'll find things in the yard. You didn't even know we're there. You know why I'm laughing? What? Because I just checked out the Easter egg. <laughs> this is your first time. I wish you hadn't really been out here very much because we were pregnant, as you guys learned in the last video, and, and she was worried about yeah. getting any kind of. I was trying to diseases. minimize my exposure out here, so I like uh, if I ever had to come out here to collect eggs, it was like run in, run out, yeah. don't breathe. Because <laughs> they've had chicken box, which we stated at the beginning of the video. So a few of our chickens still have. The pox that you can you can see pretty well, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, most of them have started to heal up, and uh, a few of them are molting, which they absolutely look terrible when they're molting, and we're going to show you guys that here in a second. But One of them straight up looks like roadkill. <laughs> I know, it's bad. So the the two species or the two breeds that recovered the fastest, uh, the most hardy, which is not surprising, is our red chickens and our barred rocks. Those are two ultra hardy uh, breeds to have. They have very little issues, they're super hardy. Uh, they lay great large eggs and they're just easy to take care of and they get along together. Egg wise. And egg wise, I think I love the red. Um, I, still, I still don't know what they are. They're just reds. We think they're like Rhode Island reds, but their eggs are my favorite. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the biggest and they're just, they just taste good. I'll tell you exactly whose or whose. So this, this darker one that has the freckles, that's Penny. And then this, uh, this more beige, tannish one is um, Peggy. They, they have different characteristics in their eggs as individuals. And those little brown spots are usually calcium buildups. This is, I wanna say that's Carrots that's egg. That's Carrots, and hers don't taste the best. Right now, her eggs have kinda of looked sort of weird and I think that's because of the pox. So her, her body's fighting something. You can see the, the calcium, you could feel this right here. It feels like sandpaper yeah. at the top and then it's smooth and then but her eggs are almost, just super thin. Yeah, it's like the, the calcium is kinda dispersed. It's a little weird. So some of them are still laying eggs while they're, they're sick. But their eggs are safe to eat, right? Yeah, eggs are totally safe to eat. But uh, Peep, I think it's, yeah, Peep is the one that is molting right now. She's not laying any eggs because all <laughs> we'll of her show you it's, it's like all of her calcium is going towards making new feathers. <laughs> Poor girl. So they don't lay eggs when they're molting because it, they use that calcium to produce the what do you call it the well the follicles. I mean the, the feather itself with these quills. Yeah. And stuff. It takes a lot of calcium. Chickens are absolutely amazing. Yeah. Okay, so this is little Peep. Uh, obviously, she's not looking so hot. She's she's had some better days. I don't think if Justin would have told me, I don't quite know if I would have like recognized her at first because she doesn't look like the same bird that we've always had. She looks scary, y'all. She looks like a little buzzard or roadkill or something like got a hold of her neck. At first, I was like, are you sure like the bobcat didn't get in there and like get her? This whole thing started with Penny right here. Penny had these black spots on her actually before that she had what's called bumblefoot and bumblefoot is uh, an infection they get on their feet from scratching around if you if you let them out enough they'll get scratches and stuff and then they go back they get in the coop they get they step on their poop and stuff and they get an infection well she got this bumblefoot and i'll show you guys something you can treat bumblefoot with here in just a sec but uh she got that and then it weakened her immune system and then it made her susceptible to getting this pox. I don't know where the pox came from. I don't know if she had it in her system already and it just came out, or it, she got it from some other random bird or something happened. Um, it, can it can definitely happen from other birds. 
That so, just like randomly flew with the cube. Yeah, pooped. actually, my local feed store told me that. They said this is the worst year they've ever seen for uh, chicken pox outbreak. It's called avian pox, and it can happen from, you know, a mockingbird flies over that has it, poops in your coop area uh, or run area, and then chicken steps on it, gets it on their beak or whatever, and then it starts uh, spreading. It spreads like that. So uh, she had black spots all over her comb. They get it on their feet. Basically, you'll see it on the fleshy areas, and it, it looks like a kid has chicken pox. It looks like they black get warts, yeah. That happens when, they, when they get scabby. Uh, the thing you have to watch out for is their eyes. Uh, but other than that, basically what I was told by uh, people at the feed store is it just has to run its course. And so we've been loading them up with, with vitamins and minerals. And there's something I treat their water with uh, that's an immune booster. Did she get a snake? I think Penny. I, I think can't. Penny got a little snake. I think she did. I want to see what kind. Oh, what kind of is that? Oh, the duck just came right on my shoulder. <laughs> oh. I want to see if it's a copperhead or not. I think it is. Don't fling that thing on me. That's another reason I like to let them out is because... They kind of scan the yard for stuff like that, and uh, they get they remove it out of the way before I let Emmy go play around. Chickens, they're you know they're pest control, natural pest control. She just she doesn't really have it anymore. You can see some of the white on her comb there. Uh, she's healed up really nicely though. Yeah, she looks so much better. Yeah, your comb looks really nice and red. They were they were and getting beautiful. like pale and flopped over Looking and bad. shrinkage. Okay, so another thing we've noticed is my azaleas. You guys know that I love my plants. <laughs> a plant mom when it comes over here, but Justin has noticed that uh, there's been a few deer, two deer that's been kind of um, bedding in our backyard. And I think it's because they're eating my plants. Have you been eating this or did you cut this? I've, I cut that, I cut the lemongrass, but they're definitely, they're definitely chomping on all. Did you trim these? No, I did not trim these. These are all chomped on. They're straight up. Just nibbling. I mean, that's what you get for living backed up to the woods, right? That's part of it, babe. Love having deer in the yard, knowing that they're out here and that they feel safe in our backyard. I want to give them that, but y'all, they're eating my plants. <laughs> I spent a lot of good time out here working on that flower bed. And between the chickens and the deer, I would never be able to have a garden here. It's just, it's out of the question. So something I've noticed about having chickens is they, they're watching you, see what you're doing. They, they definitely associate me with treats and food. Not so much OSG. Yeah, they don't really yeah. like me because I don't care about <laughs> but them. But me, I'm a giver, all right? I, lo I love them and they know that. So when I start walking around, they stay, they, they keep, they'll keep their distance, but the, just enough to where they can keep an eye on me. If I could go around the corner of the house, they're all moved to where they can keep an eye on me, just to see if I'm holding anything in my hand. See, look at them in there. I know this sound. See the duck? The duck is alerting. The duck is gonna fly. He's literally gonna fly, watch him. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the treats! Give me all run. the treats! They just, they know that sound. It's really, really easy to get them back in here. They know exactly where to go. <laughs> I know, every time you walk outside, even if you're not holding anything, they're just, they start quacking and chirping. Here now! Here now, come on there! Hey ya! <laughs> you need one of those triangle bells. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so this is like, this is a good way to get a better look yeah. at uh, Martha. While well, they're all gathered here. Oh my so God, look at Martha. Mar Martha and Carrot both have the pox still on their combs. It's subsiding a little bit, but uh, Martha still has a pretty bad. Where's, where's Velociraptor over there? She's if I looked like very, that, I wouldn't she's be. She's not feeling very good. sexy right now. You know? <laughs> you know? She's not very confident. not a good look. She's lost all her tail feathers. Most of her neck feathers. I know, I know. Especially during feed time. So, kind of see. if you can kind of see the pox where she has scabs. She's got a scab right there. She used to have the most beautiful bright red comb out of the entire flock. And it was so tall that it would fold over. 
and now it is shriveled up. Looks terrible. Looks like an old crusty prune. And I don't know if it'll come back. I'm not sure. You can see on her um, her little throat modules here. I forget what they're called. She's got a couple of scabs right there. On the other side, you can see some yellow yeah, she from where the pus was. She's got another one puff out. She's the heaviest chicken too. She does She's like got a biggest. fat bottom. <laughs> look at that. Look at the fluff. Yeah, she she's heavy. Like you can tell when you pick her up. So this is a um, a, a wine dot chicken, a gold lace wine dot, and they are designed for colder weather. So that's why her comb is really squatty looking. Um, she doesn't have the big fold, you know, the tall comb because it's it'll be more exposed to the cold and can get frostbite. So they have a real tucked in squatty uh, comb and her comb looked terrible. I mean it was like a mohawk of warts. <laughs> Just black warts and you can still kind of see uh, the black little scabs that are on top there but she's started to recover from those as gray spots and she looks you look pretty good, darling. Um, her danglers, she's got a couple scabs still left down there, you guys can see. She is pissed off at you. Yeah, she's never really, she's never <laughs> she's really like, been down. Please put me down. Yeah. They're very independent chickens. <laughs> so even though they get along with the rest of the flock, but they won't tolerate you uh, or any other chickens like taking food from them, uh, they are aggressive. Let me grab one more here. One of these nasty ones. <laughs> Now, if you get a close look at that comb, that's, you can really see that's scary. what's going on there. So that's what it looks like. It's scabby. It's gross. They get, you know, start out as like bumps and then they get pussy. It is not transferable to humans, so don't worry about that. But if y'all have chickens, you're going to have problems. Eventually something's going to pop up. You're going to have upper respiratory, respiratory infections. You're going to have things wrong with their eggs um things just happen so it's it's why on our next the next time we develop a, a coop i'm gonna have like a separation cage or something like where we can isolate cage. ones that get sick because if one gets sick they'll all get sick but look at the plumage on her neck isn't that crazy it is crazy just molting and they look like dinosaurs i don't like that wow. not her prettiest look not her prettiest moment. All right, girl. Sorry for that. No. Oh, Sorry for lost that. Lost a feather. All right, Penny. Come here. You you want some attention? Yeah, Penny's just a sweet girl. You've been through a lot. We're glad to see you're back in the saddle, making some some good eggs again. We like you. We like you very much. I know, baby. I know. She's like they, I missed you. They like their little combs to be stroked. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right, girl. <laughs> That's right. I'm glad. I'm glad she's got I'm her normal. I'm getting a little jealous here. <laughs> I'm glad she's got her normal noises back. You know, she literally had this respiratory infection she for did. like a month, she was and it was wheezing. just. <laughs> <laughs> she sounded terrible. <laughs> terrible. Look at this one right here. My God. She's pissed. At just you. bad. Just not looking good. I apologize. I apologize. We showed you in your worst time. Maybe you'll come back as a beautiful swan. <laughs> she's like a hawk. <laughs> Okay, time to fill up the waters. Here's Dr. Rackley. Got them all set up in. Uh, what, what? This is the secret right here. This yellow water in here. Yeah, you just go it's ahead and get them drunk. Golden Colorado. <laughs> Coors. Beef some up nicely. Mm. Tenders the meat too. I was gonna say, is that so. why their eggs taste so good? No, I had those in a cooler. I'm letting them. Uh, dry out. These are our waters. Usually they last uh, about a week in the summer and usually about two weeks in the winter months and it's important to give them a lot of water. Um, they need a lot of water to stay healthy. This for the most part works and what I throw in here is a immune boosting powder. This is called Rooster Booster and I load them up on this stuff right here. It recommends, says mix a third of a teaspoon per gallon. So it's got uh, vitamins, electrolytes, uh, lactobacillus, which is basically a, um, it's a probiotic. Uh, probiotic, so it helps them digest their food. Salt, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin D3. Vitamin D3, as you guys know, you know, the year of 
viruses this year. Uh, vitamin D3, very good at combating viruses. Vitamin E, uh, and then a bunch of other stuff I can't pronounce. But it's, it's good. It's good stuff. You'll also notice it makes their feathers really shiny, good. People that show chickens, they'll use stuff like that to make their, their chickens' feathers look really nice. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh my gosh! Direct hit! Wow! You always need to close the... Did you get that on camera? <laughs> yes. Damn. Oh, I got it. It's all over me. It's all over the camera, Jeez. too. I'm Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's wipe that off. That really dissatisfying. <laughs> Especially on my wool. <laughs> the wool vest that you gave me. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Um, another thing that you can do is add some apple cider vinegar. I, I normally don't do both of these at the same time. I might mix them up and do one with some apple cider vinegar in it. Um, this just has good properties in it that help you combat sicknesses. I mean, I, I drink this. I we drink say, this yeah, when we're too. sick. It's good to kind of reset your system. Vinegar is, is good. It's good for your dietary tract and has other uh, healing properties. So anyway, um, I will use this as well to, to keep them, um, keep their systems working good. And then this is a topical solution right here. Uh, Vetera, Vet, Veracin Plus antimicrobial uh, for poultry and this is just a spray on so any area that has those pox or if you have an open wound I use this on Penny when she had Bumblefoot uh, you just spray this on and it is uh, it's safe for the chickens I use that those are just like three things you should have as a chicken owner just because you're gonna have issues pop up. Ducks get frisky over there. Kill the duck. He does try to get a little frisky. <laughs> Haven't really had any issues. The most of the chickens know how to uh you know pepper spray them off. <laughs> he wants to mate with the other chickens and uh just get you know he's he hasn't gotten lucky yet but he's he's trying. <laughs> they have a whole thing that they go through they have a sound. I thought it was he was like hurt or sick at first but it's a neck bob like this <laughs> and they go <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. It's a deep grunt and it's like then he's into trying a, to uh it's into a wheeze. Like clear out something down there. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Just won't hold it. <laughs> Go get him, chip games. This is the flock. This is the recovering flock right now. I I didn't know what to do when they were all going through it. I was like, they're all gonna die. You know, it looks absolutely <laughs> terrible. 2020 is just ending on a I was great like, year. This is it. Uh, our flock's gonna die. But uh, after I went to the local feed store, they told me, you know, there's a ton of people that have gotten it this year. Their flocks have gotten it, and uh, there's nothing really you can do. Just try to boost their immune system as much as possible, make sure they have plenty of water. But it's about a two week process from when they start getting it to. Uh, when they start recovering and now it looks like most of them are gonna be just fine. We've learned a lot with having chickens y'all. We really have. I think from here on out wherever we go we're taking these chickens. Chickens are a must. We love them. They are a must. You don't need a whole lot of room. We got 10 birds. I think it's enough for now. Yeah we don't need any more. All right guys I think we're gonna sign it off right here. You have done a lot with these chickens. Like I said I think I have to hand it off to you because if mm. it was up to me these chickens would probably be dead. I only take care of them whenever he's gone. <laughs> Hey, I mean, that's It's It's kind of your fun. deal, though. I mean, I, I love the nesting portion. I do the nesting inside the house, and you take care of literally it's the nest out here. It's like having a small farm. Thanks for tuning in today, and uh, we'll see you soon. Back here on the Life Life Fame channel. Appreciate all your support. Subscribe. Down below. We'll see you again. Bye.